literary luminaries, and welcome back to another Top 5 Thursday. Today's Top 5 Thursday topic is the top five fictional items that you would like to give as gifts. Give as gifts. It's all about gift giving this week, which, you know, makes sense, because Christmas is on Sunday. Don't know how that happened. This one was difficult. It's funny, because I don't really think about it until I'm I'm presented with something like this that I don't think so much of um, items in stuff. Like, it took me a while to come up with five items, so it's, it's a little sketchy, but we're going to go with it. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one. Okay, number one shouldn't come as a surprise. It comes from MCA Hogarth's work. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But, and genuinely, I can pull this kind of technology from a whole bunch of places, but Micah calls them genies, and essentially they're, um, replicators from Star Trek. You go up and you're like, I want tea, Earl Grey, hot, and it goes, okay, and hands you a mug. I want one. I want one so much. That's just... I don't even know how it works. I'm sure there's whole bunches of ramifications that I'm not even thinking about, but oh God, it would be perfect. Oh God, I want them. And I would give them to everyone, everyone, because they are so useful. I Who doesn't want a thing in your wall that you can just walk up and be like, I would like some cheese ravioli, please. And it gives you a plate of cheese ravioli. This is what I want in my life. Why, you want this too, right? It's not just me. Number two. Number two, and I've seen this technology, technology, in a couple of books as well. I'm going to use Beauty and the Beast, though, because I think it's the one that uniformly everyone knows. And that's the mirror that uh, the Beast gives Belle that lets her see him and what's going on in his life. And I know stuff like this also exists in the Mary Gentry series. You can um, talk through mirrors and whatnot. And it, it's not a terribly uncommon thing in fantasy writing in general. I just, it would be so cool to have that. I mean, te I mean, in a lot of ways we kind of do, you know, with uh, FaceTime and, you know, video calls and you know, the, the era of that kind of thing really is upon us, but I don't know. I, does that count as being old school? Can I be old school because I want a mirror? <laughs> Number three. I realize these aren't necessarily things I would give as gifts, but more things I want to receive as gifts. I would give them all as gifts too. Let's, let's, I just want to clarify that here. Uh, but number three are blood jewels from the so mentioned trilogy by Anne Bishop. I don't necessarily know what I or anyone else would do with them, but I just, I really like the concept of them. And I don't know, it's, I like things that contain magic, you know, not like here is a bottle and it has magic in it. Not, not so much like that, but I like objects that sort of inherently contain magic, which comes up later again in this list, as you will see. And I don't, that one, it's a more sort of ambiguous reasoning, but it's because they're fascinating. And I like giving people interesting presents. I think that's good enough reason, is any? Number four. Speaking of items that are inherently magical, this one is the Jewel of Judgment from the Chronicles of Amber. I've been talking a lot about Amber lately. I should just go back and reread them because, you know, I haven't been saying that for years. The Jewel of Judgment does a lot of things. Again, my memory on it's a little fuzzy. I had to look up to make sure I had the name of it right. But in my head, what the Jewel of Judgment does, and I find out this is sort of its initial purpose in the story, is it controls the weather. Who doesn't want to be able to be like, look out your window and go, rain, and the rain pours down. <laughs> I had a teacher accuse me of that once. That's why I remember what the Jewel of Judgment does, because my 8th grade math teacher accused me of controlling the rain. And I think all of us should be able to do that. <laughs> It'd just be fun, come on. Presents are supposed to be fun. I'm sure you could cause all sorts of havoc with it too, but fun. We're talking about fun here. Rain. Everyone would have a white Christmas. 
And finally, number five. When I was making this, I wanted really hard to stay away from the Harry Potter universe because, one, it's probably the easiest. I could just come up with five things from Harry Potter. And I, I promised myself I wouldn't say a time turner because everybody wants a time turner. But in general, me and time travel have sort of an odd relationship. I just, there's too many problems potentially there. But... As I was thinking, there is something, obviously I would like this, but there are a whole bunch of people I know that I would love to give this to as well, and that's a pensive. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to, you know, take take something and just be like, mm, bad memories, gone, and you put them in the bowl and you never have to think about them again. <laughs> Unless you want to, I guess. I did that... Oh. Genuinely, out of all the things... In that universe, that is the one that I really, really genuinely wish there was a way we could replicate in our world. Because I would give everyone I know one. Because I know all of us have at least one thing they'd like to put in there. But those are my top five items that I would like to give as gifts. I'd love to know what yours are. What are your five items that you would like to give people as gifts because, you know, I like hearing your input. So let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter at KRI and Frey. I love hearing from you guys. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is very much appreciated and very much helps. And hey, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, why not subscribe? YouTube will very kindly notify you every time that I put up a new video, especially if you hit that little bell icon, which should be every Tuesday and Thursday. But until next time, I shall bid you all adieu, and I will see you all on Tuesday for another Tuesday Talks, which, at that point, will be after Christmas. So we'll talk Christmas. Bye! No, but seriously, how 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 is Christmas Sunday? That that's like three days. That's ridiculous. Not okay with that. I mean, all my all my shopping is done. Thank God. I'm recording this a couple days in advance of that. But. Ugh.